I'm the Electric Cowboy, and I'm here today at Meister's Garage to talk with Antoine, the founder of Meister Engineering, about this 1994 BMW R80 GS bought out to a 1070. Antoine is here to talk us through exactly what they've done to it, because there's obviously a lot of things. Let's dive into it. Where should we start? Should we maybe start from the front? The idea is to modernize a bit the, the old uh, R80 GS. So, for that, we kept the we kept the, the original front fairing. We wanted to still have like a protection for the wind, so we start a new one. It comes from a unit garage. We adapt it with all the parts here. You mentioned this was from a Triumph originally, right. and then you had to modify all the brackets to fit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The, the the kit is for Triumph, but right. uh, it's designed from uh, the Royal Enfield Himalaya. Himalayan, so exactly. Like yeah. That. But we change the the headlight, so we install this one, and the front mud guard is a special one, uh, custom made. And the front fork, it's an upside down one, and it's a custom one because we make it a bit longer for have the right height uh, to match the yeah, ergonomics, exactly. right? We have special kit for the triple clamp here to adapt all the upside down fork and all the BMW R8065, all the R1 slash 7. We can also install it on the Hondas. All the CB. The one you have here, the CB. Yeah, all the CB. And we'll show this one in a second. This is also a beautiful bike, but we'll leave that for another video as well. It's uh, all uh, road legal for Switzerland because, uh, you know, in Switzerland it's really hard to to make it uh, legal, we have to go through a lot of tests in the crash test center. So it's it. fully homologated, fully road legal. That's the thing with all Meister bikes, they're all fully road legal, which is a very difficult thing to get here. But these guys seem to have figured that out. The tank is the original one. We wanted to have like the first 90, uh, BMW 90 from uh, 2014. So it's like the, the brushed aluminum I here. absolutely and love that. It's yeah. the, the, the same design, a bit uh, so. like, so when you look at the bike, it looks like a new one, mm -hmm. but it's an old one. So it's wow. really like the resto mod. It's a, uh, I mean, it's an incredibly well done resto mod. I mean, we'll, we'll get into the details here, but I mean, even the front, the tachometer, the HUD. The taco is yeah. from uh, Ducati Monster. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a modern one, but we wanted to have like a screen, uh, like on the new GS. Yes. And uh, we didn't want to, to have like a small uh, taco, so we have like a comfort display and also the, all the stuff for the, the iPhone, for the GPS. Quad and lock and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously the handlebar and all this, like the mounts, is this off another GS or this is a complete yeah. custom? This, this uh, uh, riser mm -hmm. are from Unit Garage also. Also Unit Garage. And yeah, we, we make them like a bit high and go on the back because it's more comfortable when you stand on the back uh, if you are like on tray yeah, or right. things like that. So you don't have like a position is like this, so you are more like that. So okay, for, for you're, you're further up, right? A little bit more comfortable, less yes. less hard on the back. The idea for the seat it was to have a comfortable seat. Right. Because of the stitching here, mm -hmm. it looks like it's this, but uh, in fact you have like a more... You have an extra two, kind of two yeah. inches on top. Yeah, we have like a really good foam inside, so it's really comfortable. It's really, really hard to make like a custom seat, but to keep or to improve the comfort. So. Right, and you fit it in so it kind of fits seamlessly with the tank. Exactly, like yeah. the original one. Like Actually, the original seat is going until like here. Right. Um, yeah, so you can move and everything. So here we only did like this. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar to the, the Enduro bikes back yeah. in the day, because often they used to sit very far forward and had to constantly shift their position. Yeah. So yeah. you've got that kind of styling elements. We wanted to keep all the all that spirit on this bike. I love that. It's, it's incredible. And then moving on, so the, the whole subframe, you did a complete custom yeah. subframe here? Yeah, the, like the luggage. Uh, right. If you want to bring some stuff, we made like a, a custom subframe. You can add on this subframe. This subframe is already a custom made and is shorter than the original one. The original one is going like, wow. uh, like this. So you so shaved off quite a lot of weight too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's shorter, but uh, after from here, you can have like the top case and the luggage from here. When you remove it, you cannot see that there is like a, an extra subframe, but uh, you can add something like this. So what is original from the bike? 
The wheels are original. We only paint it like powder coated. The spoke rings. Merci. Ah, je, je peux. Ouais, ouais, pas de souci. Merci. So yeah, place the spokes. New spokes, powder coated, yeah. anodized, stainless steel stainless spokes. Right. Are these Pirelli tires? Yeah, yeah, STR, and yeah. that's yeah. the best for road use right. and enduro. Road that's road a use. seriously capable bike. You've got twin shocks up front, Brembo brakes, and Olin's rear shock. Yeah, I mean this this thing shifts. Um, this thing Olin's really goes. Really good because you can adjust it uh, when you are driving. You can just adjust by here. So it's really easy wow. when you have like a second person here. Person, or, or if you just load up all your panniers exactly. and extra kit, you can just quickly adjust the weight. Or even if you just uh, change the road, then you just have to turn here and you can, can tune all the things you need. You kept the airbox. Um, and obviously yeah. for Switzerland, you have to keep the original airbox. Exactly, but we can change it sometimes. We install like the uh, aluminum one. Okay. Uh, but on those bikes, it looks like a modern one. Right. So it was okay to keep like the plastic you one. Keep, and it, yeah. it's really and good. You save some weight uh, as well. Yeah, exactly. But we changed the carburetor. Those one are Delotto PHM40. Wow, so okay. it's quite big because the head cylinder, if we talk about the engine, it's a quite a big engine. Right. The head cylinder are from the R100S. So it was a big ball kit. Big, yeah, yeah, big valves on the head cylinder. And the cylinder, it's the big ball kit from Zibernwerk. And so we change everything in the engine. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, stuff in the engine to, to get a bit more power. It's just a pleasure to, to drive. Small details, I mean, this is very Meister. This tail yeah. light, I've seen you do. Do you do, do, you do the, the billing yourself? The no, these those or? are from um, uh, USA. Okay, well. Uh, but uh, we, we adjust it, we change the, the lens to make it legal for a wrap. Amazing. Because those one is from uh, analog. Right. Uh, but they are not legal for a wrap. So we just change some small things to make it legal for road use here in Switzerland. And lastly, the exhaust. This is Hattek. Yeah, this is a Hattek. We are like in, importer, importer for Switzerland. Wow. So we can like uh, do all the homologation by ourselves. And uh, this one is a new one from Hattek. It's really, really cool for the like enduro style. But we have a lot of uh, choice you can choose if you want them in brushed, polished, or flat wow. black, or those kind of things. It's beautiful. We're yeah. going to start it up in a second and we're going to hear it go, See like you. all the bikes there. <laughs> so you can head to the website and you can check it out there. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe uh, to see more content like this. And we're going to go through all the rest of the bikes. So. Thanks, Antoine. Thanks. See you guys.